All right, so this is gonna be the installation of Summit 68 through 72 GM frame boxing kit. And the part number is right there, 770800 on a 1970 Chevelle big block car right here. We've pulled it off the frame and now we're gonna start prepping the frame to weld in all the boxing kits. We just watched the boxing kit video. It looks pretty straightforward. Looks like somebody already, what is that, a rubber? Yeah, there's a rubber mount right there. It's kind of funny. But yeah, so we'll, uh, I'll do a couple more videos on updates. So I wanted to go into detail exactly what the frame boxing kit does, uh, the one that we installed on the 1970 Chevelle a few days ago. So um, on any A body, early A body, that's not an SS or a convertible or an El Camino, um, you have just open channel here. And this is not real thick, it's maybe eighth inch thick and this will usually deform. Um, there's usually a lot more. It's actually a really straight frame. I've never seen one this straight. Um, but uh, anyway, this is usually all bent up and the frames are real jiggly wiggly. So um, you can see it's like that and there's this little section in the middle here. Um, so what we did is they have you cut the section out and then they have a piece that fits over this poorly. Um, and what that does is it's, this fits, this just random piece of scrap I had laying around actually fits better. Look at that. Um, it just goes there like that. And then you box it and that gives you your strength. It all, also goes all the way back to here. There's a second piece that boxes this um, um, control arm brace, which, you know, whatever. Um... What did I like about the kit? I mean, it was okay. The fit was just really bad. It didn't, um, did not fit here. It was like a half inch off. And so we ended up bending the frame down to match it. Um, even though this is supposed to just be straight like this, the frame now kicks down at like a 20 degree angle to meet the, um, the box, which uh, I don't know how much I like that, but, uh, installed um so basically yeah that's it so now i'm going to show you guys an el camino frame and what a what a factory ss boxing looks like versus the aftermarket that we just did so this is an el camino frame i just did that to the el camino el camino lives don't matter um so here's what we have here we have this is how let me get this where the fact the sun's not a factor here so let me roll it in and then i'll take a video inside okay so now we're inside we can see the frame a little bit better so as compared to a chevelle frame that's not boxed this whole section here which is a big section it's like five inches comes out and then comes over in a V and it's welded top and bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's actually a pressed piece, if you guys can see that, that's made. Um, and then it's flat over here so to allow them to weld this bracket here for the cross member. This is the convertible El Camino and SS cross member. So um, anyway, so yeah, that's, that's the difference. Um, I like this style boxing a lot better than um, the Summit kit that we used. Um, 
guarantee you this is a lot stronger because it has that that V. Um, this would be a lot harder to do uh, without, I don't know if anybody makes these, I'm gonna research tonight and find out, but if they did, that would be the way to go. Um, especially for welding it. Um, the problem that I had with welding the Summit Kit on is, you know, they recommended to full weld it and it's an edge weld and edge welds suck. If you guys know what edge welds are, they really suck. Especially a vertical edge weld. Vertical up edge welds really suck. So my final opinion of this kit is it is a decent product. I do not like it as much as the factory style uh, SS and El Camino convertible frames. Um, I probably would not buy this kit again just because um, I would make my own kit. Really the basis of this kit is some 3 16 um, you know, sheet metal that's been sheared approximately the same uh, thickness of the frame. So um, if you have access to a shear, save yourself some money. All the other pieces are some uh, inch and a half uh, 120 wall tubing that I don't necessarily even think are needed unless you're gonna be doing some really incredibly hardcore drag racing where there's a chance that your frame might twist. But uh, that being said, um, it's a decent kit. We did it in about 11 hours, me and one other person on off and welded and it was a hard day but the result was pretty decent thank you for watching